Hi everyone, it's a beautiful day here in Prince Edward Island, and I was going to do, I'm going to do a video, uh, and I was thinking it'd be fun to do a video about my most beautiful nibs in my personal collection. Now, um, I don't have anything too elaborate to show you. I don't have anything, you know, um, like I don't have, say, like a Mont Blanc or you know, there's all kinds of nibs that are out there that everybody would know as very beautiful nibs. And, uh, but this is my personal collection. And, you know, I, uh, when I'm collecting pens, sometimes it's like what interests me at the time, uh, you know, uh, what I've come across. And uh, over time, I've gathered a few pens together. And there's always this thing about nibs. Sometimes I, even the most simple nib, sometimes you look at it and you go, oh, that's kind of interesting or that's beautiful. Uh, it might not be the best writer that you have or, um, you know, or the most expensive nib you have. Um, but these are what, for me personally, and <laughs> what I think of as my most beautiful nibs. Uh, I have a couple other nibs that are, better writers than some of these uh and for whatever reason they're not included here uh, i'm not going to do it any in any particular order there's six pens uh i'm just going to show you what i think is the most my you know my most beautiful nibs in my collection but the final one uh i will show you is a nib that i would probably argue a lot of people would agree with me that it's one of the most beautiful nibs ever made and uh, I will show you at the end, so stick around and watch it. And yes, I'm going to say that it is among the one, one of the most beautiful nibs ever made. And so anyway, I hope you enjoy the video and here we go. So like I said, this is not in any particular order. Uh, and um, it's funny uh, <laughs> why I might find something beautiful. Uh, this is my Pilot Custom 74. And while most people would agree that it has a very nice nib on it, maybe people would say that it's not the most lovely nib in the world. Um, but it's one that I, in my collection, find to be quite beautiful. I don't know why. I can't say. It's not, um, say, an overly fancy nib. But I, I, I just like the subtle uh, tastefulness of it. It's not huge. And there's a little bit of scroll work on it. There's some information. But for me, that that's beautiful, right? So that's one of my most beautiful nibs. I'm going to just set it right here. Okay. My next one, I'm just going to reach in over here and grab it, is um, one that I've shown before. I'm just trying to get it in here. And it's kind of, well, let's say it's kind of gimmicky. It's my uh, Twisby... Vac 700 R Iris, and I love this nib. It's it's a Yowo nib. Uh, it's been chemically treated or heat treated to to uh, have this sort of rainbow iridescence to it. But every time I'm writing with this, I often sort of sit there turning the nib or the pen and just in, enjoying the way the colors change and the light plays on it. And to me, it's a beautiful nib. You know, and it's not the most expensive nib, is it? Really, but it's a beautiful nib. Um, there's a bit of scroll work on it, the Twisby logo, just says Twisby, and it has that beautiful burgundy and blue and green and gold going on. The whole pen is like that. It's, it's just a fun nib. It's a fun pen, and I quite like it. So for me, this is one of my most beautiful nibs. Yeah, a lot of people would argue with me on that one, I maybe, but maybe not. It, it, it's just a fun, beautiful nib, right? Um, the next one is this pen right here, and it's an older pen. It's a Pilot from the 60s, and in some ways, it, this is actually an exceptionally simple nib, really. Um, but there's something about it, and it's a small nib, it's, there, but, uh, you know, it's a smaller nib. Uh, there's nothing, it's a vintage pen. And vintage pens tend to have small nibs. Uh, it's one of the interesting things about that period. Uh, 
but it, this is a super quality it's referred to as super quality nib i don't uh know the actual definition of this nib but it's a hard fine nib and it feels very much like a nib that would be used for a certain task um uh, great for certain care making you know it, numerical notation maybe or something like that uh, or even like a manifold nib um, but it's a lovely writer and it's a very narrow nib and it's comparatively long for the size it's it, it is very sharp looking almost looks like a tip of a spear and it's sort of an inlaid um, fingernail style tip on it or, or, or setting it's almost, you, you know, some, you might refer to it as a, not necessarily a hooded nib, but a, an inset or an inlaid nib. And I quite like this pen. It's just a simple, clean little pen. Um, and it's a pilot nib. Pilots, even vintage pilots, you can still find these lovely nibs on them. <laughs> and I've never had any real problems with any pilot pens i love pilot pens they make such great products i'm going to set that aside there so those three so far and as you can see there's nothing <laughs> crazy about this next pen i'm going to show you and this is a a sailor my my sailor pro gear yeah i'm going to put my my sailor pro gear in there once again nothing that you know, yes, there are more beautiful nibs out there. I, and this is not necessarily my favorite writer, but there's something about the shape of this nib that I really like. Um, and I find it very beautiful. It, and I lean towards, in most cases, subtlety. And um, what I really like about this nib, like the wide shoulders or whatever you would call them here, you know, comparative to the size but also this bold cutout like the curvature right here leading down to the tip of the, the of the nib or um i find very dramatic um uh, and it's a very sharp fine hard nib and there's a bit of scroll work on it it's a gold nib that's been plated um but yes i find this to be just a quite a beautiful nib to look at personally right um but oddly enough it took me a while to find an ink that really brought this pen alive for me i've tried it i had tried several different inks and the one that i found that i prefer in this pen is um, diamine oxford blue it uh it's like i said it's a hard fine it's a very fine line and the oxford blue is a strong enough color that it really works and uh, it flows nicely through this pen and as i use it more it seems to be breaking in and getting a little bit kinder to me and uh coming alive so yeah that's something i find quite attractive <laughs> all right so we're going to just set that over there now the next nib uh and you know what a lot of people would probably agree with me on this one is my e95s and it's an inlaid nib uh it harkens back to the vintage designs that pilot had in the 60s and 70s you know the, the, the vintage pilot elites and at the same time there's no real embellishment to this nib it's very austere but it's just that inlaid nib i really love it uh and also, it sort of reminds me a bit like the uh, the vintage nib I have here. If you look at how sharp the tines are, like, and the leading down to, of course, the uh, tipping, they're very similar. So they, you know, even the breather hole and it, everything like that, and also just the simple uh, elegance to them. For me, those are beautiful nibs, right? set that over there now the last pen i have that i'm going to show you and i think an awful lot of people will agree with me that this is one of the most beautiful nibs ever made if you disagree let me know 
<laughs> because I think you're going to disagree, but a lot of you will agree with me. And that quite simply is this beautiful Schaefer. This is a Schaefer snorkel with a triumph nib. It's sort of a wrap around inlaid nib. Uh, it's beautiful writer, uh, two toned. And I love the fact that it has almost like a few day tip to it. Sort of, you know, you have this part here that's wrapped around the section of the of the body of the of the pen, and then the long tines that come out and curve upwards ever so slightly. And it's a beautiful writer, and it's a beautiful pen to look at. It's a beautiful nib. The actual pen itself is very simple in many ways, but there's just uh, and that's something I like. I like when you find a, when, uh, what appears to be a simple pen, but then they have something about it that is just elegant and beautiful. And I find this is one of the most beautiful nibs ever made. And I know, yes, okay, yeah, there's going to be ones that are bigger with more scroll work and, you know, just more flair to it. But the subtle beauty of this nib I don't think, you know, I, I'm going to say this is one of the most beautiful nibs ever made. And I wish Schaefer would actually revisit this nib, this style. I know that uh, the Chi there are some Chinese manufacturers copying this style. The Wingsung 601A, is it? Let me know in the, in the, in the comments. I'm trying to remember here off the top of my head. They uh, uh, have a nib similar to that. Of course, it's not the same quality, but I wonder also wonder though if it was made with the same with the original tooling. Um, yeah, I just love that nib. It goes all the way around. It looks so, you know, beautiful little curves and those extra long. Well, it would appear to be extra long tines leading to a very fine point. I like the two tones, gold and you know, whatever, the, whatever the plating there is. Yeah. Schaefer is one of those interesting pen companies. They have so many beautiful and um, influential vintage designs, and it's sort of you know, settled into a company that's, uh, I don't know, they still make pens, of course, but they've sort of lost their luster. <laughs> and I'd love to see them, you know, pick up the game, come out with something inspired by this beautiful nib. I'd be interesting, interested to see how it works. Yeah. Anyway, so there you have it. <laughs> what I consider my beautiful nibs. And I know that, yes, part of the whole point of this is to be a little controversial <laughs> or, or to inspire a, a, a conversation. What, you know, uh, so what do you think? Am I totally crazy? Or I shouldn't say that. Am I, am I missing something? Of course I'm missing something. There are so many beautiful nibs out there. But this is what I find in my collection to be beautiful. And uh, let me know what your beautiful nibs are. What's your favorite nib in your collection? I, it has to be in your collection, okay? I know if we go online, I could find, if I was just pulling pictures off the internet, yeah, sure, I, I would find so many nibs that are much more beautiful than these. But this is the stuff from my collection. And uh, part of the fun of fountain pens you know, other than using them, is looking at them and uh, and learning about them, really. There's so much to learn. And over time, this list will change, of course. I'll probably, if I was to do this video in a, a couple of years, probably none of these pens would be on the list, wouldn't it? Maybe the Schaefer still would be. And the E95S. Yeah. Anyway. I hope you liked the video. It's just a fun little one I was putting together. And if you have any comments, let me know in the in the comment section. And if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And 
Uh, if you're new around here, I invite you to subscribe, hit the notification bell, and also, hey, feel free to share the video. And I'll talk to you soon. I hope you have a great day. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.